Hi everyone, how are you doing? Uh, in today's lesson we're going to be going over some uh, open major chords. Uh, so we're going to show you some of the basic major chords that you're pretty much going to be playing at least one of these chords in any song that you play. And we're going to go over how to, some wee shortcuts that you can use to go from one chord to the next. One thing I see a lot of people doing is when they change chords they'll just lift all their fingers off like that and then they'll go back and they'll just keep doing stuff like that. With some chords you've got no choice but to take your fingers off and then get into the position for the next chord. But there are some chords where you can just slide into the next, to, you can slide into the next chord. Uh, so I'll show you some of these shortcuts. So the chords that we're going to go over are the A major, D major and the E major chord. So we'll do them in that order. So we'll start off with the A major chord. So what to do, when you play a chord, you want to make sure you get the very tip of your finger on the strings and you want to make sure that you've got a lot of pressure. Because what you want when you play the notes or the chords, you want to hear every note absolutely perfectly. And the reason you want to use the very tip of your finger is that if you use that part of your finger, what I call the face of your finger, I don't know if there's an actual name for it, but if you put that part on there, then it's blocking the next string and you get a lot of that there. So just make sure you've got the very tip of your finger on the string and you've got a lot of pressure pushing down and then you'll hear the notes absolutely perfectly. Okay, so we'll start off, so you get your first finger and you want to put that on the fourth string on the second fret. Okay, and before you go on to the next one, just hit the string and make sure you get a perfect sound for the note there make sure it's perfect. And then the next note what you're going to play is get your middle finger, you're going to put that on the third string on the second fret. Now we're just going to do the same again. Just hit the two notes, make sure they're sounding perfect. If you're hearing any buzzing like that or even just like a dead sound there, what to do is try and put a, lot of pre put a bit more pressure on the strings. If you're hearing that, that's probably the reason why, is you've not got a lot of pressure on the strings just yet. Uh, if you've got a lot of pressure and you're still hearing that, make sure your finger isn't on the actual fret there. Right, so just make sure your, your fingers are in between there. If you've got a lot of pressure on and then you'll get a clear sound for you there. The next note we're going to play is we've got our third finger. We're going to put that on the second string on the second fret. And that's you there. So we just hit all three strings again. And that's you there, so that's our A major chord. So to strum that, we're just going to strum from the fifth string down, and that's us there. All right. So the shortcut we've got from the A major to the D major chord. So we don't need to take all our fingers off and then go into the D shape. All we need to do is your third finger. You're just going to keep that on the same string, but just slide it up into the third fret in the second string. And your middle finger, you're just going to drop that down to the second fret on the first string. And then your first finger, you're going to drop down to the third string on the second fret. And that's your D major chord. And for that one, you're just going to strum from the fourth string down. And that's you there. So again, before you play the chord all together, just hit the strings individually. And again, just make sure that you've got a clear sound for all the notes. Once you've got that, strum from the fourth string down. And that's your D major chord. Last chord that we'll go to in this lesson is our E major chord. So again, don't need to lift all your fingers off the guitar. So your first finger, you're just going to keep that on the third string, but you're going to slide it down to the first fret. Then your middle finger, you're going to lift up to the fifth string on the second fret. Then your third finger, you're going to lift over to the fourth string on the second fret. And that's your, your E major chord. And for your E major chord, you're just going to hit all six strings, and that's you there. Okay, so that's the shortcut just to get from the three chords there. There are a few more chords where you can do shortcuts, but again, I'll cover them in, a, in another lesson. But a good exercise to help your fingers get used to changing from one chord to the next is start off at a pace that you're really happy with. So it doesn't matter if, it's going, if you're going really slow or if you're going really fast. Whatever you feel comfortable with, so just sit with the chords. And just change from one 
to the next. And that is using that. But what you can also do is you can get a metronome. So I don't know if you'll have a metronome, but you can go on to, if you've got your laptop, uh, you can go on to, I'm sure it's metronome online, that I think it's called. Uh, just go on to that and then you can pick whatever pace that you're happy with and just sit and go over the chords. And when you're feeling confident and you feel you can go a wee bit faster, just up the tempo a wee bit and then try on from there. And your, your fingers will start to know exactly where to go from one chord to the next. Uh, so you won't be able to... Uh, you probably won't be able to go too fast, like at a fast pace to start off with. Uh, it, it will take a while for your fingers to get used to going from one chord to the next. Uh, but all in time, you'll start to be able to play from one chord to the next without even thinking about it. You'll be going on to a chord, A major, E major, C major, without even thinking about it. It all just takes time. So just start off with a pace that you're happy with, strum the chord once, and then go on to the next chord. And what else you can do is, again, with the metronome at the pace you're going, try and strum the chord at the first beat. Right, so if you've got, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's a good exercise for you as well. So it gets you, it helps you move from one chord to the next faster. And again, once you're feeling confident with that, you can up the tempo, go a wee bit faster, and then, uh, what you can do as well is just practice on strumming so even if it's just a down up strum so even if you're doing something as simple as that now what to do is try and keep the strumming going so when you're changing from one chord to the next try not do that so you want to try your hardest and keep the strumming going so start off with a, with a simple down up strum Again, at a pace that you're happy with, and then just build it up from there. So I hope you've learned a lot from this lesson, and I will have another video up soon with another lesson. Uh, remember, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com aiming30. Uh, if there's any songs, styles, techniques that you're wanting to learn, just send me a message, and I'll have it up as soon as I can. Bye.